think, think, think tank. I'll get it straight yet. Yeah. Mark is often a guest a speaker and or a panelist representing the government of Canada on environmental issues. And his personal life, Mark and his wife, Deanna, have been married for 38 years. Good, congratulations. And have five children and eight grandchildren. Wow. Mark currently lives in Brookswood. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark Thorne. Well, thank you so much uh, for inviting me to be uh, on Border Reason Central. Uh, the, uh, I think I began the summer in Alder Grove, and uh, Charlie was wild there too, uh, for uh, breakfast, and uh, President Jack was there. I like, I like the title though. Brown. Mike Brown. Sounds good. <laughs> Maybe Jack could do that for all age. Jack rolls. It's, uh, so it's good to end the, the summer being with you. I, I fly back to Ottawa tomorrow, and it has been a busy summer, and it just went like that. But we really had an amazing summer, and so it's great to spend it with you. Um, uh, just before I, I've got a political speech here I want to share with you, but uh, just a little bit of uh, update on what's been going on. Um, as some of you know, we moved our office. We used to be over at the gas station on Glover Road, the Esso gas station, and we are now in Murrayville. And, um, and uh, John Campbell's not here with us, but uh, it's in the same building that, uh, that he's in, and we're on the main floor. <clears throat> used to be a pharmacy restaurant. Uh, pharmacy restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Carlo! <laughs> It's the former pharmacy uh, drugstore, and um, we didn't find any pills there, Carlos. And uh, but anyway, it's uh, it's really good. Um, I, I did some of the work myself, but when uh, when I got it hooked up, it's some of the electrical, and some of the plumbing, and, and when you would flush the do toilet, the doorbell started ringing when we thought we needed to get some professionals in there. But uh, we had our our uh, open house, our grand opening on Saturday. <clears throat> And so now, a few days later, we want to let you know about it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, so many of you got this in your in your mail on uh, Monday or yesterday. <clears throat> and it, uh, we did have a pretty good turnout. We did advertise in the local papers, but um, weather was good. Saturday was beautiful, and we had about 200 people show up. And um, so, if uh, if you, there's any way we can help you, please don't hesitate to drop by. The big difference between this office and the other one is uh, the location. A lot of people can walk there. Uh, the uh, last location uh, was quite visible, but uh, everybody had to drive. And uh, so now you can walk there, a lot of people, and uh, lots of restaurants. So um, I'm getting uh, spaced out on a lot of coffee. Like I, every meeting I have, oh, would you like a coffee? And we go to one of the coffee shops. And, and so I think I'm addicted already on coffee. But it's, uh, it's a good location, and the big difference in that office is we have um, a volunteer table. Um, we did in the last office, uh, but it made, it made it difficult for volunteers to get there. This one they could walk, and we have a designated desk right within the office uh, staff. So uh, it's a really nice office, and uh, hopefully you'll drop by and say hi, and, and um, anyway, we can help you federally. Um, the other, uh, the other issue is uh, I, uh, I'm in a music group, and uh, we have been singing for five years. Chuck Strahl is from Chilliwack, and uh, he's our bass. And uh, Randy Camp across the river uh, from Maple Ridge is our baritone. And, um, and Ed Fass is our pianist. And Kevin Sorensen is the only fellow that's not from the Fraser Valley. He's from Ed Edmonton, and he sings our lead, and I'm the monotone. So uh, we, have, we have a lot of fun, and uh, we've been singing together for five years. Uh, last, I guess it was about a year and a half ago, almost two years, the uh, Prime Minister was the Surprise Act at, uh, at the National Arts Center, and uh, he plo played the piano and sung a Beatles song. Some of you saw that on YouTube. And so last uh, Christmas, we were the Surprise Act. And uh, we're, yeah, we're surprised when we couldn't sing. <laughs> 
But uh, no, we have we've had a lot of fun, and uh, so uh, I have to fly back early because we're we're, we're uh, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow I fly back. Um, briefings on Friday. Friday night we practice. Saturday morning I fly to Toronto. I'm in a Ukrainian parade, bringing um, uh, greetings from the Prime Minister, and um, and then uh, Saturday night we sing, um, and it's. Uh, Lord, uh, Peter Masbridge's wife is also quite a singer too, and so she's in this uh, fundraiser concert, uh, raising money f to fight cancer. Um, and so, anyway, that's, uh, and then uh, Sunday I get uh, a day of rest, and then Parliament starts on, on Sunday. So it's uh, we're off and running, and um, I was thinking of getting Charlie there as a sensinator, and uh, we can get some of these guys under control in Parliament. Uh, he has that way. But uh, anyway, it's, it's been busy. Well, with the, besides the office, I took a couple of trips down to California. My, uh, my in-laws, uh, wonderful, uh, neat parents. They're st I'm sh thankful they're still alive, because both of my parents are gone. But um, they're moving into a rest home. And uh, so we quickly found that uh, they had stuff collected uh, over the years, uh, and we couldn't get it all cleaned up in a week. And so we went back a second trip. <coughs> another week and a half and uh, uh, so all of that took up my summer and uh, it's just gone so fast but we did have an amazing summer the summer games uh, that was a highlight too and many of you were involved with that and that was a huge success so um, just reviewing a little bit of